Hey guys, Michael here. I'm giving you a quick review update, actually, and just quick testing in terms of the Logitech K760 Solar keyboard, that uh, Solar Bluetooth keyboard that I had unboxed just a couple of days ago. And right now I have it paired up with my Samsung Series 7 Slate running Windows 8 Consumer Preview Edition. You should check out my uh, link for further updates um, in the future. I could not it's possible I might not be making another video and actually just uploading it directly to my website. So you might want to check that out under mikemoo.com forward slash gadget review. Or, you know, you can just go on to the search page over here on the right hand side and click search and type in K760 or Logitech. Anyway, I just want to point out that um, I'm happy to report that pairing was super easy to do. I paired it real easily with the Samsung Series 7 Slate running Windows 8 Consumer Preview Edition with the uh, default drivers. And uh, more importantly is that this command button actually functions just like the Windows button does in my Windows 8. So if I press the button, uh, it actually, uh, well actually I gotta make sure it's, it's on and paired. But um, when I press the button, it actually functions just like a Windows 8 key, which is very beneficial and useful because, uh, especially the Metro interface, how you get back to it is pressing this button down here for the Windows Series 7 Slate, but be, in order to be able to do it from the keyboard, it's just great, right? It's, it's, it's actually a really nice option. I, I'm also happy to report that a number of these special function keys up here also work in conjunction with, with the uh, uh, Series 7 Slate running Windows 8. I don't know how this will function on Windows 7. I'm gonna presume that a lot of this functionality actually does translate directly uh, to the Windows 7 tablet as well. So let me share with you what keys actually work and what they do on Windows 8. So let's see, this button doesn't do anything. This is to eject a, um, you know, e eject the uh, CD DVD drive. This actually moves the volume up and down. As you can see, that actually works. All right, I'm pressing up and down. Um, so that's volume up, volume down. Mute also works as well. I press it and it turns the sound on and off. The play button probably doesn't work because I don't have a media player open. The battery check actually does not work as well. The brightness does not actually do what I would think it would do. It actually turns scroll lock on and off. But actually, the uh, the turn the brightness down actually turns the scroll lock on and off on a Windows machine. This button actually opens up the F5 button here. Um, actually opens up the... Uh, Internet Explorer browser, so it by default it opens up the Bing Internet Explorer browser. This button here actually opens up. Actually, I'm not exactly sure, 100% sure what this what this opens up. And of course, the uh, these buttons here switch between the three different Bluetooth devices. So it's nice that I get some functionality and some useful functionality out of these keys here. I'll probably be using the mute button switch a lot and adjusting the volume directly from here. That is pretty useful. I'm um, not so sure if I'll be activating the browser uh, button a lot because I like to use Google Chrome. Maybe I can default that to Google Chrome instead. Now, the most important thing, of course, is that this command button actually functions just like a Windows key. So in Windows 8, of course, it opens up the um, what used to be called the Metro interface, now opens up the Windows interface. And correspondingly, if I do the Windows key and tab, it does the same thing. Um, that a regular Windows would do if you press the Windows button and tab allows you to switch between different open applications. Of course, you also have the Alt tab option, but note that in order to access the Alt key, you actually have to press the FN key. So it's actually going to be a combination of three keys pressed. Not sure how I'm going to like that, but uh, it's okay. I could use the Windows and uh, tab option. Notice that um, on the right side and left side of the space bar, you get the same key functionality as well. Control key functions as it should, control C, control V, etc. Those are the very popular ones. The FN key, of course, you have to hold that down in order to access, access the F function keys up here. So how does that complicate things a bit? Well, let me show you. If I needed to Alt F4 something to close, I'm gonna to have to hold down the FN key, the Alt or the Option key, and then press the F4. So that's a three button press versus the two button press. So that's gonna be something to get a little bit used to if you're gonna to try to do the one hand thing. It's gonna be kind of weird trying to do that with a, with a Bluetooth keyboard versus a full on Windows key. But you know, those are small gripes because I'm really happy that I can access the Windows key, right? The all important Windows key 
and um, I got a couple of shortcut keys in here to boot and I got a great keyboard that'll work just fine with my iPad and my iPhone and uh, well enough for my Windows machine. So there you have it. Uh, if you were if you were wondering what works and what doesn't work on a Windows machine, that's more or less what I figured out within the first five minutes of using it. If I find anything else new, I'll be sure to update um, off my website link, let you know. And I'm pretty happy with the typing quality of the keyboard. Of course, as you can hear the sounds here, it's the keys are actually louder than what I'm used to in terms of a keyboard. I like, like I'm not even pressing down on it. It's making a little bit of clicky clackety noise uh, there. So it's not a quiet keyboard. But it's also not super loud either. I mean, people aren't going to turn around and stare at you if you're typing, especially if everybody else is typing as well. So they're really not going to notice it quite so much. But I'm fairly impressed enough with a keyboard that I have to give it thumbs up, especially for my purposes. I want to use three different devices and easily switch between the three of them by pressing the, the different F, quickly switch between the three different uh, devices that I might be using with it. Right now, I only have one device paired, but it's as, as easy as pressing one of these other different Bluetooth buttons here to switch between them. And again, I have access to some of these keys over here. Not so sure how useful scroll lock is going to be, but you know, some of these other ones, particularly the volume one, is going to be very important for me to use. Plus, I have access to all F12 keys if I go ahead and press down the and use the Alt function as well as the FN key over here. So FN Alt and then the F key. So it's probably a two-hand process. Uh, I can live with that. Until until or if Logitech comes out with a K760 edition for Windows machines, I'm, I'm going to be pretty happy using this, especially with my upcoming uh, Mac purchase. All right, guys, please like this video. I'm pretty sure this is helpful to some of you, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.